वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर्टीन डैश थ्री दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्राम चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टीन दैट इज इनर्जी मैथड्स एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाय आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज डिटरमाइन द स्ट्रेन इनर्जी इन द स्टेप रॉड इसम्बली पोर्शन ए बी इज स्टील एंड बी सी इज ब्रॉस मॉडल ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ ब्रॉस इज वन जीरो वन गेगा पासकल वाइल्ड स्टील इज टू हंड्रेड गेगा पासकल ईल स्ट्रेस ऑफ ब्रॉस इज फोर टेन मेगा पासकल एंड ईल स्ट्रेस ऑफ स्टील इज टू फिफ्टी मेगा पासकल सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द स्टेप रॉड दैट इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाई एक्जियल लोडिंग एट पॉइंट सी एंड बी एंड दिस इज फिक्स एट पॉइंट ए द डोमीटर इज गिवन फॉर रॉड ए बी इज हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर वाइल बी सी इज सेवेंटी फाइव मिलीमीटर सो वी हैव बीन आज टू फाइंड द स्ट्रेन इनर्जी in this step rod clear so let's start with the solution so first we will define what is strain energy so again you can see when you apply it load on the body clear that will tend to deform this body provided no energy is lost in the material the external work done by the load will be converted into the internal work which is called strain energy so basically the external work load is our work done on the body will be stored in the body as strain energy this is what we call strain energy now you can see that this is axial loads all our axial loads and we know that and this is step rods this is one rod and this is second rod so we can write strain energy which is represented as ui for axial loading since this is axial loading it is equal to sum of n square into l divided by 2 times ae clear where n is normal or axial force l is length a is area of that rod and e is modulus of elasticity elasticity now what we will do is that first step is that if we cut this step rod over here at section 1 1 let this is section 1 1 so at section 1 1 if i cut it and draw the free body diagram so it will be like this and this is your point c where you have 20 kN load and in order to keep it in equilibrium you will be having reaction force opposite to that let this is n b c because this is rod b c rod b c now you can find this nbc by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to 0 and force towards right is taken as positive so nbc is positive minus 20 kN is equal to 0 so from here you will get nbc will be equal to 20 kN okay now what we will do is that we will take another section which is section 2 2 in rod ab and we will draw the free body diagram that is available on the right so at section 2 dash 2 dash 2 draw the free body diagram so this with there there is a larger rod clear and there is a smaller rod which is rod bc clear so at this point you have 20 kN clear which is your point c clear this is your point b where you have 30 kN 30 kN and here you will have also 30 kN so when you cut it you will be having a reaction force now you can see 30 plus 30 is 60 in this direction plus 20 which is 80 so in order to keep it in balance it should this reaction force should be in this direction and this will be nab because this is in rod ab so you can find this nab by using this equation of equilibrium and taking this direction force positive so nab minus 30 minus 30 minus 20 is equal to 0 so nab will be equal to 80 kilo newton now you have both normal 
are axial forces in this rod a b and b c so what we will do is that we will use this equation so strain energy due to axial loading is equal to sum of so for rod for rod a b it will be equal to n a b into length n a b square into length a b divided by two times of area of a b into e a b is made up of steel you can see over this is made up of steel so e of steel plus for brass or for rod bc n b c square into length of b c divided by two times of area of b c and this b c is made up of brass clear it is given here this is made up of brass so now you have all the values so you can put it so n a is again n a b is 80 kilo newton so 80 and kilo is 10 raised to power 3 whole square length of a b is 1.5 meter so i will write 1.5 divided by 2 multiply by area so you can see diameter is given 100 millimeter which is 0 0.5 one meter so you can use pi by four pi by four into 0 0.1 square clear and e of steel is also given as you can see this is 200 gigapascal so 200 into 10 raised to power 9 similarly you can do it for n for rod bc so nbc is 20 kilonewton so 20 into 10 raised to power 3 whole square length of bc 0 0.5 divided by area two times area of bc so diameter is given as 75 millimeter which is equal to 0 0.075 meter so pi by 4 d square so pi by 4 0 0.075 square into e of brass so e of brass is 101 gigapascal so 10 to the power 9 this will give you strain energy due to axial loading so when you calculate it you will get strain energy due to axial loading comes out to be 3.28 joules so this amount of energy is stored in the body due to external work but we will check it again so this result is valid this result will be valid only when your stress is less than the yield stress so what we are going to do is this first we will find stress in a b which is equal to n a b divided by area of a b so n a b is 80 kilo newton so 80 into 10 to power 3 and area is pi by 4 0 0.1 square clear and when you calculate it you will get 10.19 into 10 to the power 6 pascal or you can see 10.19 mega pascal now you can see that stress in a b is less than yield stress of the steel clear you can see a b is made up of steel which is this one 250 mega pascal so this 10.19 is less than mega pascal is less than 250 mega pascal so it means that this is okay we will check it for bc so sigma bc is equal to nbc divided by area of bc so nbc was 20 kilo newton so 20 into 10 to the power 3 divided by area so pi by 4 0 0.075 square okay so again when you calculate it you will get stress in normal stress in bc and that come out to be 4.527 into 10 to the power 6 pascal or you can say 4.527 mega pascal and you can compare it sigma bc and sigma yield of brass 
so you can see this is bc 4.257 while each stress of brass is 410 megapascal so you can see this is 4.527 megapascal is less than uh, 410 megapascal so it means that your strain energy is stored in this body is 3.28 joules and that was all about this problem 14-3 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos also share my videos with your friends and help me in growing my channel as well as they will learn from my videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching and supporting me